when I resign in Qatar from my employer, who is, who bears the cost of repatriation back to my country? Hi guys, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And if it's your first time to come back to this channel, consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to press the notification bell. It will be the only way that you'll be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for the returning subscribers. Thank you so much for watching videos for this channel. Thank you for your support. For the new subscribers, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. Support this channel. We are looking at around 2,000 subscribers. And it's the only way this channel is going to grow. When I resigned from my company in Qatar, who is entitled to repatriation costs back to my country? Remember, when we talk about repatriation, we talk about resignation, we talk about resignation, and we talk about termination. In Qatar Lebalo, there is an article that talks about repatriation, termination, and resignation, or resign, or resignation. That who is going to bear those costs of me taking me back to my country? Or oh, when you resign, are you entitled to gratitude? When you resign before your contract gets off, are you entitled to gratitude? Yes, when I resign before my contract is done, am I entitled to a, a free ticket back to my country? Then, that is all question that we should understand or we should know or we should put in mind before we get to see what happens. And the only way that you can try to understand the whole, the whole set of the questions answered in one minute or in five minutes or ten minutes. It's by understanding a given article or a given uh, uh, article that touches or uh, explains thoroughly well in the Catholic Balu that explains that. That what happens? In Article 57 of the Catholic Balu, it thoroughly explains that upon termination of a contract with the worker, it may be because of redundancy. It may become without of the reason that legally the employer or your employer or your company that recruited you from your home country will repatriate you back to your home country to the place of origin or to an agreed destination depending on your mutual agreement between the two of you. For example, if, for example, you came from Nairobi, Kenya, you came from Uganda, you came from Bangladesh, you came from Nepal, you came from India, you came back, you came from Sri Lanka, you came from wherever you came from, you came back, you came from Uganda, Tanzania. And the, con the company terminated you, or because of redundancy, it may be of any reason, because termination may be any reason, maybe misconduct by you, the employee, maybe the company redundancy, or the company is trying to reduce its costs and say some of people go off. Or the company is trying to close down because of uh, you know liquidity is, is, is closing down it's getting out of the business it will definitely repatriate you back to the country where it recruited you from the country of origin but in some closing to some instance you have a situation where you may decide between depending on which kind of relationship you have with your company Maybe you may say, um, uh, me, I don't want to go back to my country to, to, to Uganda, but I need to go to Kenya or I need to go to Nepal. Please, let, 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 me, let us discuss that my next destination will be to Nepal. It will depend on how you get to agree in one way or the other. It may be India, and you're planning to go to India, you're not planning to go back to Kenya or any way. So that one will be an controversial agreement between the two of you. But remember, as the role as the company, it, here in Qatar, it has to repatriate you back to the country of origin where it located you from. But remember, when we talk about the repatriation, we talk about the repatriation. Normally, if the country is repatriating you, it is normally, it is within the two weeks. But there may be a situation, there may be a situation whereby during that time of repatriating you back to your country in Qatar here, you get a new sponsor of the company. You get a new job. You get someone who's sponsoring you. Then that means this company is not going to bear the cost of repatriating. The new employer who is giving you the work is the person who's going to bear the cost of repatriation. He is going to bear all the costs of changing 
That is on certain scenarios that we need to see. Because there are scenarios whereby the company is terminating you because of given reasons. But there is a situation whereby you are resigning by yourself. That is something different. Yes, you may resign, but resign how? If I'm resigning when I've already finished up the two years contract, then the company will repatriate me back to my country in case I want to go back. But in case the company, if case I terminate the contract or I resign before finishing the contract, the company may not be obligated to take me back to my country. It may tell you it will be your cost to bear up the cost to take you, especially if you've not worked for the company for more than one year. It may not. But remember, we're talking about, we talk about the good companies, the bad companies, all exist all concurrently together. That we cannot underestimate it. So if it's a good company, it will pay up. If it's a good company, even after a probation period of six months and it's terminating you, or you terminate it, it will take you back to your country of origin. But you definitely, you definitely have not to rule out if it's a small company, then probably there's some issue that you need to sort out between the two people, or the employee and the employer. So, we say in the two weeks, once in the two weeks, you get someone giving you the job, then it is a different scenario. Okay, we, we are going to look at two scenarios. We are going to look at two, three scenarios, actually. Remember, when a worker joins another employer, by sponsoring, by sponsorship transfer before the departure from the country, the obligation of the repatriation shall be bared or shall be shifted to the new employer. That is, if you get a new company that is going to give you sponsorship, the obligation should, will shift from the old company or the old employer to the new company to take over, to bear all the costs. That is one scenario. Scenario two, but if you resign before finishing the contract, the employer may be exempted from paying for you your return ticket back to your country under the law. But you, as I say, you may have a good company. If you have a good company in one way or the other and it's a big company, it may decide to give you a ticket for free to go back to your country. But if it's a small company and in case, there are even also small companies that are, are so that good. So it will also depend on which kind of scenario at a time. Then we look at situation three. Still to note, still to note, gratitude, still to note, gratitude will only be paid to those people that have completed a contract with the company. Hope I'm getting you right. Hope you're getting me right. To some companies, gratitude will only be paid if you've completed a contract with that company. Let's say, for example, you sign a contract of two years. You did not finish the two years, you resign after one year. That company may not give you gratitude, may not pay up gratitude. It has that clause in the labor law which may be exempted from paying you that gratitude. But remember, we, we, we also don't have to rule out the good and the bad. It may be a good company. And it may be willing to give you some amount of money as a token of appreciation for that one year that you worked with that company. They will give it on top of what you worked for that month. Remember, we talk about the notice period that you're supposed to give. One year less than one year, one month. So they will give you that salary that you're going to work plus a small token. Then you go. But if in case the company is not willing, it's not a good company, it's not willing, it will not give you. Meaning that you've not completed the contractual agreement we signed in the contract, which was two years. So they, they are exempted or they will not give you that gratitude. I think some of people have not tried to understand that one. But it's very important you to understand. As you're resigning, what period are you resigning from? Where, what exactly time, what timing of the contract are you resigning from? It's quite very important. Are you resigning after six months? That's probation period. That means you'll have to bear the cost to go back to your country. Are you resigning after your contract? Yes, by law you're entitled to gratitude. Then are you resigning after one year? Yes. The situation may be either the company may give you the gratitude or may not give you the gratitude. So hope I've tried to share with you something. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. And remember, consider subscribing. Consider, give up a thumbs up, give up a thumbs share and comment. I'll always be more than happy to get back to you. 
don't forget to mix from the Mexican TV. See you again in another video as we try to see more of this important information to share out.